Now, the United States has been leading the post-World War II liberal order as an advocate of free trade and democracy, but the Trump administration's America First policy is raising concerns about possible disruptions to Washington's alliances. Uh, Kim Hyesung went to gather some experts' opinions on the developments, especially in regards to North Korea. So uh, let's take a look. Yes, we're living in a new era, and a new era requires new thinking. And I believe that this involves reshaking and rethinking the liberal international order. The liberal international order, in Donald Trump's view, cannot mean a blind adherence to the old way of doing things, including interference in all the world's crises. More than 100 scholars, former government officials, and experts from Korea, the U.S., Japan, and China gathered in Seoul Tuesday to discuss the changes that have occurred over the past year since Donald Trump became president. Most experts at this year's ASEAN Planum agreed that some of Trump's policies, like imposing tariffs and amending trade deals, have added to uncertainty in the global economy and the existing multilateral trade framework. But on the security front, they argued that Trump's policies on Syria and North Korea show America's strong security alliance with NATO and South Korea, and that there could be a potential breakthrough in solving the North Korea crisis through the upcoming summit talks. For those to be a success, experts said the first step is coordination between Seoul and Washington, like narrowing down the definition of denuclearization via Washington's policy of CVID, or a complete, verifiable, and irreversible dismantlement, or a gradual nuclear dismantlement. At the same time, discussions are also needed about what the U.S. and South Korea are willing to give to North Korea in terms of sanctions, military exercises, a security guarantee, or a peace treaty. To talk about peace treaty this early, I think, is a bit unconventional. Um, uh, it, it's something that should, if, if we do do it, something should directly involve the United, United States, because the United States was a signatory to the armistice on behalf of the UN, uh, it should directly involve China. Kim Jong-un could ask for too much. You know, Donald Trump want, may want to give too little. Donald Trump want, may want to give too much. I mean, there, there's so many possible scenarios here. Unconventional is good if that approach succeeds. But given the high stakes, experts warn that more preparation, a closer look into the details, and coordination between Seoul and Washington are key to using these talks to help achieve peace on the Korean Peninsula. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.